News Press Now's Cameron Montemayor is live at the Buchanan County Courthouse to tell us more about the case against her. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Press Now. I'm Charles Christian, and in breaking news today, a St. Joseph woman has been charged in connection with a fatal wrong way crash that killed a St. Joseph motorcyclist as he exited Interstate 229 downtown in May. News Press Now's Cameron Montemayor is live downtown for more on the case. Cameron, what can you tell us? We learned this afternoon that Catherine Marie DeWeese of St. Joseph has been charged with involuntary manslaughter in the first degree by the Buchanan County Prosecuting Attorney's Office for her role in a wrong way fatal car accident that took place on an Interstate 229 exit ramp that feeds onto Edmond Street on the early morning hours of May 17th. A crash that claimed the life of 33-year-old St. Joseph resident Ryan Kaufman, who was also riding his motorcycle when the crash occurred. At this time, an initial court appearance for DeWeese has not been scheduled, but we will keep you up to date on any developments in that case. According to St. Joseph Police, Kaufman was roughly midway through the exit ramp when he was struck by a Honda CRV that was going in the wrong direction. Kaufman was ejected from the motorcycle and sustained life-threatening injuries. He was taken to Mosaic Life Care and later pronounced dead as a result of blunt force trauma to the head. According to a probable cause statement with the case, an odor of an intoxicant was noticed coming from DeWeese at the scene. DeWeese refused to consent to a blood draw and a search warrant was requested and granted to do the test. A toxicology report showed DeWeese's reporting limit of ethanol was .010. Family members like Kaufman's sister Chandra Roberts said in a statement that charges show that his death was taken seriously, but the weight of Kaufman's death has been immense for family and friends since the incident. It's like pressing pause on your life and it's just on pause. Like you're going through the motions of everyday life, you know, getting up and showering and eating and going to work, but you're a zombie. My brother was a good human being. He was a taxpayer in Buchanan County. All of his adult life. Well, family members have said they plan to honor and, and honor his life going forward, whether it's with continued memorial ride and biking events or with pr the special made t-shirts that they've had made in, in Ryan's honor. Reporting live in front of the Buchanan County Courthouse, Cameron Montemayor, News Press Now.